Iran Supreme Court upholds death sentence for three young protesters. Uh, the Iran Human Rights News Agency reported that the Supreme Court of Iran has upheld <clears throat> the death sentence of three young men who were arrested by security forces during the November 2019 protests. The three defendants in the case, all of them in their 20s, have been accused of an affiliation with the MEK organization, which is a terrorist group for those who don't know, um, oh, which Iran has designated as a terrorist organization, but they have all denied these charges. Um, security forces arrested Amir Hossein Moradi from CCTV footage during the protests. He was arrested, beaten, held in solitary confinement, tortured, coerced, and coerced to appear on state-run television to confess that he had set fires to banks and gas stations and damaged public property. The other two, Mohammed Rajabi and Saeed uh, Sam Jidi, uh, fled to Turkey, despite producing ample evidence of being in danger for participating in the protests. Turkish security forces deported them to Iran, where they were immediately arrested. Okay, so on Facebook, John is, the Facebook post, John is pointing, made this comment. By the way, sorry if I call our, the people who are commenting morons and stuff like that. Feel free to call me a moron back. Um, it's just how I do it. Like, I'm sure I'm being a moron sometimes, but I'm going to do it again. John is being a, John is being a moron by saying Trump so wishes he could do that to every protester. This, these people are obsessed with being like, they're like, why can't we be a dictator? So I could complain. I want to be the victim. Why do we protesters in Iran get executed? I wish that was happening over here. So we could like, they want the, they anything that suggests like hey like other countries uh, deal with tyranny um you know and oppression more than you guys like they like this story is not even about trump or the united states but people are like we're like oh this iran is being iran is executing protesters executing like there's a the death sentence is the punishment for protesting in Iran. And people are like, well, Trump would do it too if he could. Like, really, guys? Like, is this how desperately you guys want to be the victim? Like, you have to be the great... Like, just being the victim is not enough. You have to be as... You know, you have to compete with other people that are having it worse as you. Like, your attention has to be on you guys, always. It's so sad. And it's so not true. It's so on a completely different level, Right? You can bring up, bring attention to the problems in your country without having to act like it's the worst fucking country because, or close, anything close to the worst countries out there. Because it's not. You guys are so much better. You guys in the United States have enjoyed so much more rights, and none of your politicians, we can tell for sure, that would want, that won't kill any protesters, right? Uh, you know, but. In, you can admit that you have it a lot better without that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be fighting for more right admitting that things are better in your country is not the same as saying oh so are you saying everything is good now like i mean come on guys this is such a case of stupid what about is people, people can uh, think outside the binary like it has to be either all bad or all good they cannot be like some things are bad, some things are good. People just can process Danny? that, I guess. Yeah. Okay, come on, Daniel. Are you serious, Daniel? Daniel saying Trump uh, asked whether he could use tanks on protesters, Armin. He okay. This is you guys are delusional, guys. Sorry, Daniel, but he didn't say that if he could use the tanks to shoot at the protesters. He was like, can we just bring them out as a force of intimidation? And guess what? He's Trump is a fucking moron, and that's stupid. Okay. And he he's bad for the country. Okay, all of that. I agree with all of that. But it's not even close. It's not even close to the theocracy. Susanna, you have your hand up. Um, I just wanted to make one clarifying um point. So they had all previously been sentenced to prison in lashes. Um, but this death sentence has not been officially announced. It is a lawyer who has um. 
contacted this human rights news agency anonymously, um, obviously for fear of his own safety, has informed um, this rights watch of these um, sentences of capital punishment. Um, so, yeah, just to clarify. Yeah. So, yeah, just to be clear, like, it's not even, you know, in, in, there's no, I am for um, protest that goes beyond being just peaceful if the government has made peaceful protest illegal. Like in Iran, right? So they, here's another major difference, right? In the United States, you have you have a choice. You ha you could do peaceful protests, and you could also do not so peaceful protests, right? Um, one of them is legal. One of them is not legal. A major difference between United States and Iran is that the peaceful protest is also illegal, right? You have no fucking voice. You do not have the right to assemble. You do not have the right to come and say, fuck Khamenei, I hate him. He should be like, yeah, that's a death sentence. I'm sorry. Like, okay. You do not have that. Okay. This is so fucked up. And by the way, we're talking about these three protesters that are going to have a um, death sentence for protesting in Iran. But they, according to Reuters, the number of people that were sh killed during the protests is more than a thousand. Right, more than a thousand people were killed in the streets by the government for protesting, and that was not that did not get the attention that it deserved, uh, because the government effectively sh shut down the internet over uh, on the entire freaking country for about a week, and when they turned it back on, it was like yesterday's news. Uh, so all the videos that were coming out didn't get the attention from international media. It, it really worked. It really worked, you know, if for Iran, you know, just turning off the internet. I didn't know if they could do that to turn off the internet on the entire country. It was the first time done ever in any country. Uh, to you know, so that was you know very impressive, and and their tactics worked. Um, let me see what people are saying on the. Oh my God! Here's another point. Uh, just like um, Antifa wants for Trump. Oh my God! This this is not a delusion from the other side. Um, so and so see both sides want to bring this back to the U.S. Some the people that hate Trump, they're saying, "Oh, this is exactly what Trump wants." The people that hate Antifa are like, "Oh my God! Antifa would this, <laughs> would do the same thing as Iran's government." Like, <laughs> as long as you just have to bring it back somehow to the U.S. and be like, "Oh my God." Uh, Michael is saying more than 1,000 people uh, killed for protesting in Iran, but what about Trump's statement about, oh, fuck off. Yeah, exactly, Michael. Yes, yes, yes. Again, I'm not saying this is not an endorsement of Trump or Antifa or anybody. I'm just saying you can bring up you you can bring up problems in your country without making it seem like you're worse than even North Korea or something like that. Do you guys want to add anything to this? Um, no, not really. I wanted to piggyback on what you said, Armin, about mm -hmm. making your country the worst. I think that that's very common amongst a lot of people, particularly in my experience. And I, I, I missed the comment, so I don't th that set this off, so I don't know, but I just know that in my experience, particularly with a lot of lefties, is it's part of the and it can happen with anybody, as we saw from the Antifa comment, but hmm. it's um, this flip side of the, which was the, the right side, flip, flip side of like the, except, you know, we're the number one the American exceptionalism thing. So if we're the greatest hmm. on the other side for a lot of people, so if we're the greatest, we must be the best at being the worst. <laughs> so everything's about us. It's all this navel gazing. It's constantly centering the West, in particular the United States, in every discussion. And um, yeah, it's it's interesting to watch it happen often. 
Um, yeah, yeah. So let's um, if yeah. So if we get a news on whether or not the execution went through or not, let's cover that as well. Okay, I'll keep an uh, eye out. Okay, thank you, Selena. Okay, so. Oh, Boogie Monster Mom is saying it's the Victim Olympics. Yes, that's what it is. Oppression. Oppression, Oppression. Olympics. Come on. We Oppression. need the alliteration. <laughs> <laughs> it's because My you have to have your OIR, which is your Oppression Index Rating, mm. right? And you get mm -hmm. points, and then the sympathometer mm -hmm. function. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're, <laughs> thank, you're, you're, <laughs> thank you, Michael. <laughs> you need to whip out your victimology cards like it's Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, uh huh. Yeah. Well, I have this. And My have OIR this. is higher than yours. Yeah. <laughs> Are you really ready to play that game? <laughs> right. Thank you. thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has? What's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel. Why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're if you not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. So